Okay, welcome back. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is test spraying this Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. This is supposed to be a really hard finish, like the type of thing you would spray an appliance with. Now, I'll read on the back here. It's, um, I believe, intended for metal. But uh, the test I'm going to be performing today is to see how well it works on plastic to see if this can be used on plastic models. So what I have here is the classic spoon test and I've added knives to the test for a reason. Now of course you test spray to see if these are going to be working on plastic models uh, without crazing the plastic or it's not really crazing the plastic it's more crazing the paint but um, you use these because they're, they're made out of polystyrene and so it should give you an, an, um, a good representation of how it's going to perform on your model car. Now um, I have two options here. I have the bare plastic and then I have plastic that has been sprayed with primer already and this is Duplicolors primer but anybody who does this knows that most primers um, react pretty much the same way to paint so well not all of them of course somebody but the majority of them Duplicolor has I have a good track record with Duplicolor I generally use it all the time for primer and so that will tell us how it reacts to primer and how it reacts to bare plastic so um, what we're going to be doing is uh, spraying these oh I meant to say now I picked the knife because the knife has a pattern in the handle and I want to see how thick this paint sprays so like I wanted to see if it's going to dry um, cure and let you still see the pattern nice and clear now of course over here it's not going to be quite so clear because I've had to add some primer and the primer is already starting to fill those patterns up but as you can see it's still there so there's still hope so if you have little panel lines and rivets and so on uh, there's I'm looking to see if it's going to uh, work uh, and still see those details so uh, I will give it a spray the next scene will probably be the next day or two days after so that we can see how it actually looks after it's cured so be right back Okay, and so here we go. It's uh, two days later. It's been curing, drying and curing in my shed here on really hot days with probably about almost zero humidity inside the shed here because it's like an oven and more like a food dehydrator. But here's a look at the way it came out. And I must say, right off the bat, this is very, very good paint. Um, it applies very, very smooth and lays down nice and smooth and as you can see it had absolutely zero reaction to plastic or primer um, in fact I should point out that the one on the left is the one with the primer and the one on the right is the I sprayed straight on the bare plastic and absolutely no reaction and if you look now I painted this outside so um, there's a few things that uh, blew in there you know, a little piece of dust and a little hair or something. But um, all together, it got you most of the way there. If you look at the finish on that, especially like on the knife there, it is just about smooth to the point where um, it would be really easy to just polish that the rest of the way. Um, which is what you want. You don't want a major orange peel because um, that, you know, <laughs> with a major orange peel you almost kind of start with sandpaper and then work onto your polish, but um, this is there. This is polish only. Um, and with a clear coat, um, I haven't tested a clear coat, but if I were putting a clear coat on there as well, I kind of apply the clear coat with the flash coats and it generally um, smooths it out even more to the point where you don't have to polish at all. Uh, little known fact, yeah, you can put your clear coat on 
with your flash coat. So, th like, say this was three coats. This was like, uh, you know, a mist coat initially, and then um, a little heavier coat, and then a real coat. And those were all within about five minutes of each other, which is something you can do outside because the sun dries it super fast. But um, inside, if you were painting like in your garage, you would want to wait about 20 minutes between flash coats um, to get them to uh, lay down properly. But your final flash coats can be clear coats uh, right on there, 20 minutes, you know, right on the enamel, um, the, the clear lacquer. Um, but uh, yeah, let me show you closer here. This is the one with the uh, primer, and you can see it's a little bit more bumpy. And that's because the bumps were actually from the primer. So if you were painting something with primer, you would want to sand the primer smooth first before you put your final coat on. As you can see, all the bumps from the primer is there. But I was delighted to see that all the texture showed straight through the paint with no problem. This is on the primered one. You can see the edge there is a little bit bumpy. But over here, on the one with no primer, just straight Rust-Oleum to plastic, it, um, all the detail is there as well. So this is a good sign. This means that if you have panel lines or rivets or door handles or something like that, they're, they're going to shine through this, which is really good. And I will say this was a thick coat of paint. When I painted that, the paint was, this area here was full to the point where you could just barely make out the texture. And so when it dried, it kind of sucked to the texture and showed up good. So there's no question at all, you can paint plastic with the Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. And I suppose I should test to see how hard. So it's supposed to be super hard. Yeah, it does feel hard. I mean, that's... And I'm purposely hitting it with my finger now to see if I'm making impressions. Let's see what I did there. Uh, no. Well, let me let me try let me try this edge right here. I'll try to do that again so that it's someplace where I can. Okay, let's take a look there. Okay. Now you can definitely, it's not super hard, because you can see that I did make little dents in there. But that's after two days of curing. I just can't get in the right light. But I believe, yeah, I just put those dents in there. But that's after two days of curing. Who knows, after a week of curing, maybe it'd be even harder. But for plastic models, or most things that you don't slam your fingernails into or <laughs> sharp objects of any kind it would do just fine I'm really more interested in the look and I'm happy with that this and over time let's see if this is a white that that will yellow or not I hope it won't but we won't know for a couple of years really I hope it doesn't um, but this is just a, an example of showing how it lays down and I'm quite happy with it. So I'm definitely going to paint the uh, trailer with this, the uh, the model trailer, and uh, add it to my list of paints that I um, buy. Now it also comes. In, I saw it in a black, and there might be other colors. You know, being appliance epoxy, maybe there's a a. Uh, what is that avocado green <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but uh, that will wrap it up for this one that's a success I would say a flame a flamey flaming success that's the wrong word a raging success anyway really good paint definitely worth the buy I think it was like five bucks and uh, I appreciate you watching everybody have a good one bye